Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be reviewing all of my Invicta figures! So actually I turned out not going to Florida because something happened and we couldn't go. So now we're thinking of rebooking it. Or we might go to Disneyland, even though I'd rather go to Disney World. So today I'm going to review all of my Invicta figures. Before we do that, I'm going to tell you some history behind them. So, one, two, three. The Invicta line started around 1973, before My Little Pony or Safari Limited were established. They made all sorts of figures. Their line consisted of a Diplodocus, a Megalosaurus, a Glyptodon, a Mutaburosaurus, a Baryonyx, a Lyopleurodon, a T-Rex, a Brachiosaurus, a Momentisaurus, an Ichthyosaurus, a Blue Whale, which is very weird, a Scalitosaurus, a Dimetrodon, and even more. But the rarest out of the group was the last Invicta, the Lambiosaurus. What makes this Invicta so rare is it was the last Invicta ever made. Invicta pretty much died in 1997 when Safari Limited and other dinosaur companies won over them and their brand started getting less popular. The last Invicta set ever released was the box set sold at the Natural History Museum. Also, My Little Pony won over them. Invicta figures are now very, very hard to get, but they are spread around everywhere on eBay, and you can find them today, individually or in lots. So we're going to take a look at all of my figures from this line, and I will tell you what year these were made. So we're going to go from oldest to newest. year-wise, not when I got them. This is the Megalosaurus. This one was made in 1974, and it, and it is my oldest dinosaur toy in my collection. You can see it has some pretty nice details. See. I'm gonna look at the camera screen because it's really, really bad at focusing sometimes. get an idea of all the detail. There we go. Now you can kind of see the details. Now I got all of these on eBay. So down here's the foot, the other foot, detail here on the tail. And also, I forgot to tell you that the Invicta figures are really inaccurate. Some of them are more accurate than others, like the Lyophloridon and the Plesiosaurus, but others, not so much. But some, some they, some they got out were actually accurate, so that's good. The Glyptodon, made in 1975 and is my old, my second oldest dinosaur toy. Well, it's not exactly a dinosaur, it's a mammal. It's 
see the detailing on the big short of bump. Feeling detailing down here at the feet. Except this one is kind of like cut off. And let's see. The eyes. As you can see. Very nice. I will do one of them at the end because actually one of them I have no idea what year it was made. And if you can tell me in the comments, that'd be great. So, next we have the Stegosaurus. My third oldest dinosaur toy. Look at this detailing. On the plates. The tail down here is kind of chewed up. Yeah, that's the Stegosaurus. Probably one of the best in the series. So next we got my fourth oldest artist or toy, and also my first Invicta figure, the Plesiosaurus. Now on this one there's actually not too much details to point out, because it is so smooth. You can see the head. That neck is long. Flippers, you can see how like skin creasing again over here. Again, right here, and right here. And the short tail. Whoops. There you go. There is my Plesiosaurus. This Iguanodon is probably one of the least accurate in the series just because, I mean, look at this. Who had, they actually included an ear. See, they actually included an ear. And you can see the veins. See, see the ear? It's right here. Where the veins. And the very famous thumb spike, which is all everyone cares about on the Iguanodon, really, is the thumb spike. Feet down here. Spikes. And the tail. See, I'm probably the least accurate out of the series. Oh, and also, these Invicta figures are all to scale. So these are all scale models. Here is the Cetiosaurus. This one is really neat. Not a very famous dinosaur. Let's see. The neck detailing and the detail down here at the feet. Detailing here on the body is incredible. Down here at the tail. It's it is kind of chewed off down here at the tail. But still, this is a really, really, really nice um Cetiosaurus figure. Very nice. Probably one of the most accurate out of the group. Okay. These are my last Invicta figures, both made in the exact
exact same year. Well, there's still two more because I have that one which I have no idea what year they made that in because it doesn't say on the bottom. Here is probably the second rarest in the set. This is the Lyopleuridon. As you can see, it actually looks pretty accurate. Let's see. I love, 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 love the colors. It's probably not what you would you would imagine, like on a um, Lyopleuridon. Like, you may be like, oh, this color doesn't fit, but I love, 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 love the colors. I love them. See the fins down here? Yeah, again, not too much detail to point out. This one was really, really well taken care of. Like, when I started to get these Invicta figures, like, after this one, I noticed that they were being more and more taken care of. Because the other ones that I got were just, like, beat up. Very, very loved. Oh, and this other one. The last one I actually know what year it's from. Probably one of my most beloved Invicta figures is the Metaverosaurus. Not such a famous dinosaur, but still. It's an iguanodont, so yeah. See the, all the detailing. The details are actually pretty close to the glyptodon, like on that big shell that it had. Like all this detail. All this like bumpy detail. Down here. The phone spike. Then... Over here, down right here at the feet, and the big long tail. This one is really, really well taken care of. I'm not sure the owner of this one actually played with this much because this is in like perfect condition. still be sold in the museum. Like, perfect condition. Perfect. Look at that. Yeah, so that is the Invicta Ludoborosaurus. Probably another one of the really, really rare ones. I was very excited to get this because ah, ha, 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 is mine now. Okay, last Invicta. That is the Skeletosaurus. Um, now this one, I have no idea what year it was made in. Like, if you take a look at the bottom, it lists no year, no year, nothing. It lists no, no year at all. It just says Skeletosaurus, length about four meters. British Museum Natural History, no year. That's all it says. That's it. No year. Probably it was too small to list the year. Well, they could have just squeezed it in like they they did have some room like right here. I mean, Invicta. Invicta, couldn't you just do that? Like, why? It, it, it's weird, Invicta. Why didn't you list the year? If you listed the year, I would have known. And I would have showed this one way earlier. I'm guessing this one was, like, made sometime in, like, 1976 or so. Um, I'm not very sure. But, yes. That is my complete Invicta collection. And I will be updating this um, a few times because I am getting a um, Baryonyx. So yeah, if only my camera will start focusing. Okay, that's it for the reviews, but now it is time to scale. So we're going smallest to biggest. Also, these might not be in the correct scale because these are really, really outdated. 
So there is the Scalitosaurus. The Glyptodon. Ow, ow, okay, something just happened to my leg. It's like I needed to crack my knee or something. I don't know what just happened. There's the Stegosaurus. Now here is the Mutaburosaurus. Here is the Iguanodon. Here is the Megalosaurus. Okay, so we're doing size comparison. This is the Liopleurodon. Here is the Cetiosaurus. And finally here is the Plesiosaurus. Actually, wait, let me switch these two. There. So yes, this is all the scale models that I have from Invicta. The Scalitosaurus. Um, put it on. Stegosaurus, Nudiburosaurus. Um, Iguanodon, Megalosaurus. Liopleurodon, Plesiosaurus, and finally the Cetiosaurus. So that is all, you guys. Bye! Fully my camera. We'll start focusing. There we go. See ya. Bye!